This is the question asked in today's skill rack daily challenge. So we will be given a string as an input and our task is to split the string whenever the character is repeating continuously for even number of times. So in our given sample input 1, here the character L is repeating continuously. So the character L is repeating continuously for 2 times. 2 is an even number. So it satisfies the conditions given in the question. So we have to split at the middle. So after splitting, this is how our splitted string should be printed. So here in our expected output also we can see that we are printing the same. Here the character L is only repeated for even number of times. So we split at only one position for the given sample input 1. Now let us see our sample input 2. So here we can see that the, all the characters A, B, C are repeating. And out of that, first let us see which are the characters repeating for even number of times. So the first character A has repeated for 2 times. So it has repeated for even number of times. And then the character B has occurred for 4 times. So it has also repeated for even number of times. But the character C has repeated only for 3 times. So it has repeated for odd times. So we should not consider it. So now we have to split at the middle for all the characters that are repeating even number of times. So the characters A and B are repeating for even number of times. So we have to split at the middle for both the characters. So A has occurred for 2 times. So when we split at middle, only one A will be in the first line and the remaining will be shifted to the next line. And now we have to split at middle for B. So when B is split at equally half, 2B should be in the left and 2B in the right. So we should not split at the middle of the complete string. We should split at the middle of the repeating. So after splitting at the middle of B, this is how our updated string would be looking. And our expected output is also same. Now let us see how to write a C program for this. So first I am creating a character array named str of size 101 and in the next line I am accepting the input in a string format and storing it into the character array str. And after that I am creating an integer array named arr and integer variable l and I am setting its value initially to 0. So we will be using this integer array to store the index at which we should split our string. So that is what we are doing in the next part of our program. So I am creating a loop. So this for loop iterates from 0 till string length of str-1 and here we iterate only till string length of str-1 because in the inner loop we will be starting from i plus 1. So that is the reason why we are iterating only till string length of str-1. So in every iteration of this loop first I am creating uh, two integer variables. So the integer variable count and I am setting its value to 1 and another integer variable named start in which I am storing the index. So start is equal to i. So we will be using this integer variable count to count the occurrence of every character. So in the first iteration we will be counting the occurrence of str of i and in the next iteration we will be counting the occurrence of str of i plus 1. So like that in every iteration the value of count variable will be set to 1 and will be starting to counting. So now in order to perform counting again I am creating a loop. So this j loop iterates from i plus 1 till string length of str. And in every iteration it checks whether str of i is equal to str of j. If this condition is satisfied then we increment the value of the variable count. And also we set i is equal to j. We do this because in the next iteration we should not keep counting the same character again and again. So we should move to the next part. So we set the value of i is equal to j. So this happens whenever str of i is equal to str of j. And if this condition is not satisfied then we have to break. So again in another if condition if str of i is not equal to str of j or another condition j is equal to string length of str minus 1. So if any of this condition is satisfied then we should break out of the loop. So I am including a break condition. So this j loop will be stopped. So this is what we will be doing inside this j loop. So after the execution of the j loop we will be having the occurrence of the character str of i stored in the variable count. If the variable count is even then it means that the particular character has occurred for even number of times. 
so if a character has occurred for even number of times then as per the condition given in the question we have to split it at the middle so whenever count mod 2 is equal to 0 then i am storing the middlemost index into the array arr so first i am checking whether count mod 2 is equal to 0 so if count mod 2 is equal to 0 then arr of l++ is equal to the index so to find the middle index we know that the index will be starting from the variable start and the ending position will be i so the length of the particular substring would be i minus start plus 1 and since we have to split it at the middle by 2 so i minus start plus 1 by 2 and in every iteration the substring will be starting from different position so we will be adding start to that variable so this is the variable which we will be storing inside this array arr so after the execution of this loop, we will be storing all possible indices into this array arr. So now we haven't modified our input string. We just know the index at which we should be splitting the string so that we can get our desired output. So now we are going to start printing our output. So that is what we are doing in this loop. So the first loop iterates from 0 till string length of str. And in every iteration of this loop, first I am creating a new integer variable named flag and setting its value to 0. So now, if the value of i is equal to any of the integer present in the input array, then we have to set the value of flag is equal to 1. So the length of array arr is equal to l. So the j loop iterates from 0 to l and in every iteration, it will be checking whether i is equal to arr of j. And if the condition is satisfied, we set flag is equal to 1 and if flag is equal to 1 then we have to split so we will be printing a new line and in every iteration we will be normally printing the character that is present in the str so whenever flag is equal to 1 we will be start printing from new line so we will get our output in the required pattern as given in the question so now let us check our program with sample test cases so this is our sample input 1 and our expected output is here so we also get the same and now let us also give our sample input 2. And for sample input 2, we have our expected output here. So again, we get the same. So our output is correct. In the first line, we print A and then A, B, B and then B, B, C, C, C. So we also get the same. So this is the logic behind today's daily challenge. Thank you for watching.